What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And if you guys have been anticipating the release of HipJot, which is a new swipe keyboard tweak, then you're going to be very happy to hear that the beta has been released. Now, this is a beta in all senses of the word. There's a ton of stuff that doesn't actually work. So possibly not something that you want to use for your main keyboard right now, but it is something that you can test out and actually see if you like. I'm actually a huge fan of this and I don't like swipe keyboards, so that's actually saying something. A couple of things wrong with the tweak just to begin with is a lot of battery usage right here. It also doesn't work if you have a notification banner up here and it doesn't work in some specific applications as well as if you're using something like this, like a quick reply tweak or a quick compose or anything like that, you can see it's not going to work. Other than that, this is an awesome tweak. The key tones that this keyboard has, the options that you have for this keyboard, I mean, this is really, really awesome. So you can see right here, if we tap and hold, you get a menu, you have your split, adjust, and resize right here. So if you wanna change up the way that your keyboard looks, you can do so by tapping these buttons right here. It just kinda depends on how you want this set, but you can see how that works right there. Now, if you screw this up and you don't like the way that it's set up, then you can always go to your presets and go to use default and it automatically goes back right here. Once you're done, just tap fin and you're done and you can go back into your menu here and let's say we want to change the color up. You have some presets right here that you can go through and they're actually pretty nice. And you can also change this up uh, very easily by swiping up and down on these buttons right here, the red, green, and blue sliders. So you can see it changes up pretty nice. If you wanna invert the colors, you can do so just by tapping the box right there. But let's go ahead and use the uh, white color keyboard right now just because it's a little easier to see on camera. Now if we go back into the menu here, you can see the layout, which actually doesn't work if you highlight that and try to open it up, it's not going to work. You have auto space, so this is automatically going to put a space after each word. You have your options, which don't work. You also have access to your tweak options, but these don't work either in the beta. You can see right here, you ran out of time. And uh, the pronouncer, so you can have Siri pronounce each word that you type out, which is actually kind of annoying. So I don't recommend doing that unless you just don't know what you're typing. You also have debug and help right here and then type right down there. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. We're gonna type something out and I can't really talk while I type because I'm concentrating too hard. So. Just give me, give me just a second. So if we type something out, it's really awesome. Here we go. All right, so I tried to type, hey there, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to hang out? So it came out exactly as I wanted it to, and I wasn't really that accurate, as you saw. But this is really awesome because not only do you not have to be accurate, it also gives you options to change up the words very easily. So first of all, if we wanted to delete something, we can tap and hold on this, and you see you get that little arrow right under my finger. Now if we swipe to the left, it's going to delete those uh, words right there one character at a time. And you can just swipe back over. You never have to pick up your finger or anything like that. Now if we type something out again, let's say we typed out hey, you get a little pop-up menu right here. If we tap and hold right here, then you have all your options right here. If you want to change up the word, you have to uh, capitalize the word. You can use all caps, all lowercase. Unremember if you don't want it to remember this word from the dictionary, then you can do so right there. If you want to access your emojis, then you can tap right there. It's going to give you all your emojis right here. I actually have a theme on my keyboard, so you can't see the world icon or the globe icon, but if you tap right there, it's going to bring back the uh, original keyboard. And right here, if you tap, you'll see that it's going to lower that down so you can actually get a little more room to read. But once you start to type again, then it's going to automatically bring that back up. Again, this tweak works in the messages. It's going to work in your reminders, your notes. Some of the things it's not going to work with is like quick reply tweets or uh, quick compose, that sort of thing, like byte SMS or anything like that. Just keep that in mind. This is not something that you probably want to keep as a regular keyboard, but it is something that you can try out for free, and I highly recommend it because I think this is going to be a really awesome keyboard tweak. Now, if you guys want to know when it's officially released in Cydia, then go ahead and follow me on Twitter, and I'll let you guys know as soon as possible. So let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. 
Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, then go over there and stop by and say hey. Alright guys, until next time. Peace.